guys, it's Kelly with Embroidery Nurse. So today I want to talk to you about corduroy. Corduroy is such a classic fabric. I absolutely love it. I don't know if it's just a southern thing, but at one point in your life you've probably had something with corduroy in your closet. I love these beautiful dresses and I believe it just gives such a classic look with the corduroy and it's so perfect for fall and winter. So corduroy, some people literally won't touch the fabric when it comes to embroidery because corduroy itself is a fabric where it has been tufted together and there's channels between each tuft that's creating the whales, the tufting, the cord. So corduroy has, you know, texture to it. And texture with embroidery sometimes can be kind of difficult. So there's different kinds of corduroy in regards to the whale. So the whales could be wide or they could be fine, thin channels between each of the cords. So let's talk about it in a little more detail. Wide whale is generally used more so in like men's trousers or maybe upholstery. And then the finer pinpoint type whale, thin whale, is going to be used more in upper garments and certainly in children's clothing. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So don't let it scare you. There's just a couple of things you just want to think about and practice when you're using this kind of fabric. I have the most beautiful dress here. I love it. These are so, you know, great for fall and winter. This is from Love That Cotton and it is just a beautiful jumper and it's in red, very thin whale. So that helps us. The reason people get so concerned with embroidery in a whale is because you don't want your stitches to get lost within the fabric. So there's a couple of things that we'll do and a couple of things that we won't do. So let's get started. Okay, this is a dress that I sell in several different colors. Um, this is red. So a lot of times around Christmas and Valentine's, you know, these are pretty popular. And again, it's definitely more fall winter wear. I have already pre-printed my design like I always do from Embrilliance Essentials. And I'm just going to cut out our monogram here and we're going to get started. You do not want to iron corduroy because you literally could iron flat some of the areas. So if you do iron it, you certainly can. You wanna do it from the reverse side. You can tell this one came pretty wrinkled, but it's not really in the area where the monogram's gonna go. So I'm gonna to wait to kind of press it after I'm done. But definitely, I highly suggest not ironing it on the front side. So I've got my design here and I'm going to find the center of my dress. So let's just measure from one side to the other. We've got 14, so seven exactly there in the middle. This is just a simple intertwining monogram, which is, you know, what I listed it as in, in my Etsy listing. So unless someone specifies something different, then this is what I do. And it also has white as the um, thread color. So this is a lined dress. You want to be careful with lined dresses when you're monogramming because you don't want your stabilizer to only be stabilizing the lining and things shift. That's definitely happened to me. I kind of had to learn, um, you know, by my own example. And um, you just want to be careful. You either want to do a basting stitch or you want to do pin it really well. And I do pinning. I don't do basting for anything. Um, it's just not been the practice that I've, I've followed. So with this, I don't want to hoop corduroy. You've, you've seen hoop burns on, on different kind of garments and corduroy is almost guaranteed to have it. So I don't suggest hooping your items when you're using corduroy fabric. I am going to use fast frames and I'm going to use sticky stabilizer. This is not going to have a lot of give. Um, there's not much stretch with corduroy. Now they do have some stretch corduroys, but this in, in particular does not. So I'm not as concerned with having the you know, cut away where it's going to offer it stabilization, you know, throughout the wear of it, because this itself is pretty stable and my tear away sticky stabilizer is going to do the trick. So I've got my fast frame here. Once you feel 
comfortable doing corduroy. It's easy peasy. Not gonna be any different than anything else that you monogram. Um, my, the biggest takeaways and the biggest things that, you know, I suggest are not hooping it and not ironing it. And if you have a choice between, you know, the, the fabric that you're using, I suggest using the thinner whale, not the wide whale. But you can do it. Um, you just might have to. And there was one dress that I did early on that someone had dropped off on my porch, and um, it had a wide wheel to it. And I was very new to embroidery, didn't really know what I was doing. I was just kind of learning as I went. And the, I, I did it first, the first go, and literally the stitches were good. Then in every little, you know, valley of the cord, uh, the, the, literally the stitches were getting lost. It just didn't look good. If you stood back, it looked okay. If you got close, it didn't, and it just really bothered me. I ran it through the machine like three times to actually get a solid monogram on it. I don't suggest doing that. Um, I suggest doing, you know, a couple of these other things first to make sure we get it good. So I've got my sticky stabilizer. I'll link this below. It's the, the one I use, and I'm just literally going to slide this into the dress. Uh, when you're doing jumpers like this, you might have to unbutton the top here just to give you a little bit more wiggle room. And I'm going to take my line of the grid that I've pre-printed and match it up to the notch in the center. And again, you really want to make sure that you flatten out that lining when you have any kind of lined garment. You don't want to bunch up the lining behind what you've embroidered. So I've got it stuck on there pretty well with the sticky, but because of the lining, I'm actually going to take some of my pins and go around the edges of it so that neither the corduroy fabric or the lining fabric move at all. Okay. So I've got it loaded on there and I'm ready to go to the machine. I also suggest using with any kind of texture, water soluble stabilizer. So I will link below the one that I use. So I had a piece that I had cut out for a previous project that I didn't end up using. So I'm just gonna use it so it doesn't go to waste. But water soluble stabilizer is gonna help the stitches not get lost um, during the process of the embroidery. So it allows the stitches to kind of be up a little bit higher and it's good for anything that you do that has texture to it. It is literally, we'll pull it off um, after we're done and, and you won't see any of it with the finished product. So water soluble stabilizer, I've got the monogram um, pinned, I've got the lining and the fabric pinned, I have it on sticky stabilizer, I'm going to put it on the machine. I've already got it preloaded on my USB, so I'm going to get to it. on here I'm gonna to want to pull up my design that we found and I loaded it by the actual name itself which is the monogram KBL so let's look for KBL where are you there we are we're adding it to the machine putting it in the folder bringing up the machine going to this last section here finding KBL and saying okay all right so we know we're gonna be doing this in white and white is my seventh needle, seventh thread. There we go. I do know when I put it on here that we're right side up so we don't have to worry about flipping it or anything like that. I'm actually going to undo the other side there so that the bottom half of the dress, which is nice, can just kind of hang down and not worry about getting caught in the machine. I do have the um, fast frame attachment arm already on. And I'm just gonna screw that in place there and make sure all of our holes are, are met there. Good, 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 good. And we're good. Okay, so I do wanna trace it. So I've got my first needle here and I'm going to trace where it's at. Um, sometimes you have to pick a different size hoop to make sure um, everything fits. So I just did change that so that's going to fit better. Um, so we are going to 
line it up with my grid and make sure that my needle is directly over the X of my grid so that I know that this is perfectly centered to exactly where we want it to be. And it looks great. I love it right where it's at. So I'm gonna trace it, although I have so much give on both sides, I'm really not that concerned. And the good thing about the fast frame is um, you can feel the, the edges. So you, you know once you put something on there that it's on there properly. All right. Well, I'm gonna get a little closer so you guys can see it while it stitches and then we'll be done. So you can see it's really easy. It just kind of, people hesitate with it because it does have that texture to it. But as long as you're not hooping and as long as you're not ironing in it and as long as you use water soluble stabilizer, you'll be good to go. It's such an amazing classic fabric. I really do love it. It just um, stands the, the test of time when it comes to you know classic material. Um, let's watch and then we'll show it to you when it's done. really great. I'm going to bring it up closer so you can actually see it. And it still has the water soluble stabilizer on it. Um, but it looks really good. So you can see it has, you know, lifted up off the fabric with that water soluble stabilizer. And we're just literally going to take the pins out, which are underneath here. And we can start working the stabilizer off. So this you just literally pull, comes off pretty easy something sometimes with the intertwining um, monogram you know you've got lots of little whirlies swirlies that you have to go in there and get and you know if you can't get it you know normally you can just take your nail and just kind of scratch a little bit if you can't get it up that way then you can take the edge of your pen so I might not be able to do it here up in the air but I mean look at that it looks great it really does. It laid very well. Um, you know, you can see the, the cord if you get up close. Maybe not. I don't know. But it really does does look good. Um, so guys, don't be afraid of corduroy. It's a beautiful fabric. It's a classic fabric. Um, I just think it is, um, you know, so perfect for fall and winter with a, um, you know, like a little cute little Peter Pan collar shirt underneath it. So don't be afraid of corduroy. It really is such a beautiful fabric. I think you'll be super excited once you follow the rules that we talked about and um, just enjoy adding it as a new fabric that you uh, have conquered. Y'all have a great day. Happy stitching.